Welcome. Today's video is how I came up with the design that I had used on one of my previous videos. I will also include a link to the image if you don't want to go making it and you just want to use it. Uh, a free link to it below. Uh, I'll be using uh, Canva.com. It's a free web app, but they also have um, installations for your Android or your iPhone devices, like special apps. Um, it come, it's free. They have a free basic edition, but you can also pay to use um, a pro version, which includes a lot more templates, images, and stuff like that, and fonts. Um, I did sign up for a 30-day trial, so that is why I'll be using um, the pro edition. Um, you'll see when certain things, it'll either say free or pro. Um, anything marked pro, you would need the pro edition to be able to access that. I'm going to click Customize. Uh, switch to Dimensions. I'm going to start off with one size canvas, and I'll switch it later on and make it fit the, the size I need. But for now, I'm going to go 7x4 um, width by 4x3-inch uh, height. And the reason why I'm doing this, I found that more templates are available with certain heights. So make sure you play around with this if you are going to use Canva. I'm going to click. And the first thing I do is find a template. So I want something colorful. I'm going to search for the word fall. And then you'll notice here, like if this says pro, so this is, comes to pro, pro edition and then free, you can use. this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all this click my delete button because I want I just want the leaves and I want to add text so I'm going to click on text and then what they have are these font combinations that you can use which is kind of neat um, for this one I am going to use this one and then I'm going to change this I'm going to go happy I'm going to highlight this because I want it um, to condense the words, the letters to the word. So they're a little bit tighter, so it's happy. And then I want this to be fall. I want to use a different font. Um, I think it's font to me. Script. So it's like cursive. I want it to be cursive. I'm going to make this a little bit uh, bold. And I'm also going to make it red so it can pop a little. There we go. And then I want, I'm going to ungroup these. Right click on it, click ungroup. That way I can move these around. I want to stagger them. And then I want it to duplicate just one of the boxes, copy it, paste it. And then I want it to say you all. Y'all, and I wanted to find a different font for that. Um, oh, I'm try this one. Yeah, something like that looks good. So I'll just shrink this down. Okay, so happy for you all. And then I want to add my photo that I already had. So I think, let me see where the upload option is. Oh, here, uploads. Uh, this one. And then what I want to do here. Oops. And this is actually what we're going to be um, replicating that I did previously. It's just kind of showing you the process I, I did to come up with that design. So I'm just going to get this image and then what I want to do is I want effects and I want to remove the background. So this will allow like here the leaves, I want uh, you can't see them in the back. So if I remove the background now the leaves will come through where there's no image.
Hope click apply. There you go. So now you can kind of see the leaves coming through. So uh, that looks good. I want to add um, a couple of pumpkins and apples around the the side. So I'm going to go to elements. And then let's start off with the apples. Click out, search for apples. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to add it and then let's shrink it down. So this is where um, it's a little frustrating because now once I shrink this down, chances are I'm going to click on something else and not just the one image that I want. And that's where it would be nice if they had like a layer panel where you can click select the specific layers. So I tend to find that I need to move some of these out of the way in order to get to the one I want. So I'm going to move just move this guy here. And I just want red to kind of see how the different reds look once the item's sublimated. I'm going to copy, right click again, paste. And then this, I'm just going to flip it to go the other way so they look kind of different. Let's put this one in the front and this one in the back. And then now I want to add some pumpkins. There we go. And then same thing here. So let's just do a search for pumpkin. Okay, I like this one. So I'm going to shrink this down. And then what I want to do is just kind of put these off in the corner. Oops. I'm going to undo. I didn't want to do that. So I'm sliding him down here. Now I'm going to try shrinking him. So I'm going to copy, right click again, paste. So I kind of just want him to like add to the theme. And then one of the things, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And we're going to move one over here and then send it to the back. Same thing, copy, paste. I'm going to send it backward. One more. Okay, and then I want to flip that just so it looks a little different. And then I want to just kind of turn it just so it looks. Yeah, it's too much. Slide this back. Happy falling wall. Let's just adjust this. One of the things I wanted to do um, is enhance this a little. So you can go to photos here, uh, no, effects, and then pick, see all. So let's see. Um, 
I'll try this on Sangria. Oh no, I don't like that. Let's try Elder. Oh, I like that. It makes it a little bit more orangey. Okay, I really like that. So it's going to be Happy Fall, you all. And then I want a wood. Because I'm doing it on wood, I kind of want to give it that wood look background. So you click on backgrounds. And then I'm going to search for wood. Just go for this free one. Oh, I want. I think I want something a little bit lighter. There we go. Yeah. So there you go. So there's happy fall. Maybe mess with this a little bit more. Still, so it's not. There we go. So that's how um, I would come up with the design. So now. My canvas, I want to change the dimensions, so I'm going to click on resize here. I'm going to switch it to my dimensions, which I think I want it 7 by 2 by 3 by 2. And I'm just going to go copy and resize, so it'll leave this one here, and then it'll just do this other one over here, and then I'll be able to um, just fix things because it's going to obviously sh shrink it down somewhat. Okay, so then all I want to do is just kind of move some of these things out. So all I'm going to do is highlight them, drag my arrow to the left, and drag them to the left. So they're just more around the edge. Oops. Get this in here. Here, so just a little bit more. I like all these, just slide them over. Slide these over, and then I'm just going to drag this one to come this way more. Same with this. I just want to drag it so it comes a little bit more over. And just fiddle with it a little till I get it where I like what I'm seeing. Um, but I feel like we tend to be a little bit more critical. And then make these a little bit bigger. There we go. This is cute. So that's pretty much what I do, and then now it's time to download it. So click download here, um, PNG suggestion, and then like I said, there's where you can do the transparent background and the non-transparent. For this one, I'll leave it the way it is. Download it, um, let it go to the end. So now I'm in Silhouette Studio, the free basic edition, and all I want to do is pull in my image, um, create. Six, I need six, there's six um, wood slates that I'm designing, so um, I did random numbers and 11 by 17 sheet would be the easiest. So it'll be one sheet and it'll give me actually one extra image. So the first thing I want to do is um, check my page setup. So you can either go to the um, shortcut on the right hand side that says uh, page setup, or you can go panels and click on page setup. And I want to make sure machine none, cutting mat none, medium media size is set to custom, and I've set it to 11 by 17. So what I want to do is I want to add a rectangular box, and this will serve as where I'm going to drop my image. So the image will be added here as the background, and I found that this gives me the greatest flexibility, and I know um, I can just put it in there, and I know as long as the box is what I the size I need. So with that, I'm going to switch to so. And then hit enter. Let's see. Oh, and do it. So seven by two enter. And then a height of three by two inches. Enter. Okay. So there's the box. And then what I want to do is slide the image into the box. I'm just gonna bring this over here, click on the image, and then once I get in the box, I'm gonna release it. 
and you'll see if see yeah so see how it's in there and what this will allow me to do I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and what this will allow me to do is then I can go over here to the fill option and then click on um, fill pattern click advanced options slide down and then you can do a couple of things it'll actually allow you to you can either um, pan it so if I let's say I wanted to click pan here and then you should get crosshairs let's click this click pan now and you'll get these crosshairs and if you slide it it can slide the image around so you can do a couple things you can it'll set this as a background image I can actually shrink it so like there's a whole bunch of them you know so you could actually scale the pattern like if you wanted to make it like a repeating pattern um, and then if let's say you wanted it to cut in a different spot click this and then you gotta click these crosshairs and you could like slide it up and down left and right um, and you can even like do rotate it and do all these fun little things you can mirror flip it uh, but for what I need I only want one of these so I'm just gonna undo everything so I get back to where I was so I like this like for example like here maybe I wanted to um, make that a little bigger so I can do that okay so I got this and then um, now I'm going to right click on this click copy I need six of these so I'm just going to keep pasting them and arranging them and what's nice about this is it'll kind of give you when you line everything up it'll snap it into place three four Just gonna zoom out so I can see a little bit better. Okay. I'm just gonna select these, slide these over a little bit more. Copy this. Right click paste. I'm gonna rotate this. Copy this one, paste it. There we go. So normally I would flip these so that they're mirrored. Um, what I'm going to do is instead what I'm going to, instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a printer setting that I had already set up. I already did it, but I'll just show you what I did. So I click print. print again then it's going to pop up the printer panel I'm going to prick, prick, pick okay, so my printer Epson 8550 series then I'm going to click on preferences and then I'm going to what I did is I set up a setting so um, I already set it up but I'm going to show you I pick rear feeder rear paper feeder and I picked 11 by 17 option uh, I did click portalist, left it as portrait. I did leave it as plain paper. At some point, I want to play around with that um, color. And then for quality, I do pick high. I don't go best, and I don't leave it at standard. And then I clicked on more options. And then for more options, I click advanced. And then I picked um, color mode, Adobe RGB and then left it at gamma 2.2 so once I did that and then clicked mirror image uh, what I did was add or remove presets and then I added a preset and what I actually did is I named it the size whether it was mirrored and then the setting so then that way I know when I see it I know exactly what it is it's 11 by 17 it's already mirrored 
and it's using the RGB color uh, option. And then click OK and then click on print. This is the back of the sheet. So we can see the back of the sheet has a design on it. So what goes in the front, I just got to adjust these so it fits the proper width. That looks good. So this is already set up. And now I'm just waiting. Another thing I'll do is I'll get these cut. And here's the final product, sublimated on wood. If you want to see how this was done in the different tests, check out my other video on YouTube. Um, but I also have a link to the image below.